Hi, I'm Daniela. Welcome to Diaries of a Backpacker. I have been traveling solo around the world for over a decade. However, my passion for traveling didn't come overnight. Back in 1997, I was afraid, actually terrified of traveling alone. So I planned this backpacking trip to Europe with two friends. We spent an entire year preparing for it, but at the last minute, this trip fell through. I was devastated, but I had to make a decision. I could stay at home or go by myself. When I was holding that ticket for a Madrid flight, I didn't know that I was making a decision that would change my life forever. I would go on my own. Since that first trip in 1997, I have visited more than 50 countries. But I'm not the typical tourist going only to safe and traditional destinations. For me, actually traveling is not about a destination, but about an experience. Throughout the years, I have shared my travel diaries via email with friends and family. Then I realized that my trips didn't only have an impact on me, but also on the people who read my diaries, opening their minds and inspiring some of them to take the first step into traveling. So I decided to share these extraordinary experiences and my travel expertise with the world through diariesofabackpacker.com. But I'm neither the average traveler nor just another blogger. I'm a journalist. I started my career in journalism in Venezuela, my home country. I work reporting on hard news for Venevision, the largest Venezuelan TV network, and contributing to CNN World Report. In 2002, I moved to Washington, D.C., where I became the national correspondent for Azteca America, a Hispanic TV network in the United States. For the past six years, I have been working as a public relations manager for an entertainment company, where I have had the opportunity to interview famous movies and TV stars. There is a, a very um, interesting dynamic between the four characters. They are so different from each other, yet somehow it works out. Do you really think that in life, in real life, <coughs> things like this can possibly happen? They happen all the time, sweetheart. They happen all the time and you know it. You told me a story the other day. No, I yes, didn't. Did. It was Greg and I no, couldn't believe it. you told me a story. Uh, Trixie is a very girly girl, yes, but yes. she has a wild side. Yes, yes. How was to, you know, how important is to the story these deep issues of human conditions? It's, it's all that the story's about, you know. He's a... All these experiences have been a lot of fun, but there is nothing that I love more than traveling or that gives me more joy than bringing people closer to the places that they have barely heard of. My trips range from exciting adventures. places and historical sites, but I have also ventured to unusual and even controversial parts of the world. Reporting from the road is where I belong. I have been on the road for the past three weeks. You might have read my diaries and know about my experiences, but one thing is to read about a place and another very different to see it. I made it to Lhasa, the holy capital of Tibet, the highest region on earth. It used to be one of the most secluded and isolated places on Earth, Bhutan, the land of the Thunder Dragon. Located between China and India, this small kingdom in the heart of the Himalayas is truly remarkable. Tibet is much more than just beautiful temples and old monasteries. The Tibetan Plateau has a vast and rare natural beauty. A popular route among travelers is to go by car all the way from Lhasa to Kamandu, Nepal. There are many stories about the divine madman. One of the most popular is that one time he received a blessing threat. Mount Everest, the highest mountain on earth, at an elevation of 8,850 meters above the sea level. I am in Shiraz, the last destination of my journey through Iran. I have been traveling around the country for over a week. I came here to learn about the culture and about the people. The Iman Square is the second largest in the world. Tehran is the political center and the capital of Iran. But the ancient city of Isfahan is a cultural heart of this nation, con algunas de las edificaciones islámicas más imponentes y hermosas del mundo. I am back in the United States after traveling for 11 days across Iran. 
I'm a writer, a former journalist, and a passionate traveler. And I visited Iran without a government minder. I went there because I wanted to know what Iran was really like. Leaving fears aside, I always travel with an open heart and an open mind. I created Diaries of a Backpacker not only to share travel information, but most important, to take people into a world of travel that is not shown in travel guides or most travel blogs. I invite you now to see some snapshots of fascinating journeys in Tibet, Bhutan and Iran. Enjoy!